My name is Nadine McAvagal and I'll be going over my art school portfolio. Um, so a little about me is that I'm from San Francisco. I don't go to um, any like specific art high school. I go to public art high school. I applied to three schools, CCA College, California College of Arts, CalArts, California Institute of Arts, and Rhode Island School of Design. I got into all three schools. I got into California College, I got into CCA, CalArts, and Rhode Island School of Design, with CalArts being my second choice. And I will be attending Rhode Island School of Design this fall, fall 2022. I'm also uh, going into RISD for graphic design, or I plan to after my first year. We'll see what happens. So some stats about my high school career. I was mainly extracurricular focused. Um, I was really involved in my school's drama program and I did a lot of design work and built up my portfolio from my experience with drama. Um, I did swim my freshman year. I was in an art club. I was in a drama club other than being in drama productions. As I was also a uh, assistant director and stage manager for drama. I only took three APs and only took two AP tests. I took AP Lang my junior year, AP Lit my senior year, took that test, and AP Bio and did not take that test my senior year. Um, I got a five on my AP Lang test. Um, I don't know my AP Lit test as of late, but I'm probably gonna get like a three knowing my how that year went. I also was a part of a summer program called Problem Children in San Francisco, hosted by Problem Library. And today I'll be going over my Rhode Island School of Design portfolio because my CalArts one doesn't offer images because they didn't use Lightroom. If you know about RISD's application process, you have to submit 12 to 22 items with or examples with one not including that 22 being the RISD assignment that I completely bombed and did very last minute. Fun story actually. The day that this application was due, I did not finish in time and I was just gonna give up hope on going to this school until I called them and they said that they extended the application to like a whole other week. So I had a whole week to continue creating well, that's not good. Don't wait last minute. I waited until last minute and we used that week to create my RISD assignment, which is still half-assed and I'm not very proud of. Also something with the RISD assignment is that you can't include writing. Like for the other ones, you can add descriptions but for the RISD assignment, you can only include the drawing, a title, and like a work in progress kind of thing. I would have prefer to do a video if I had time, but I did not have time. I did not have any like college coaching. I did not have an, an art teacher in high school to like guide me along with this process, but I did have a mentor at my summer extensive um, that I did that went over this portfolio with me. But however, did, I did many changes, but he gave me a lot of tips. So let's get started with the portfolio. With my portfolio, I started off with like two three of my strongest pieces and then i ended with three with more stronger pieces at the end so it's like a sandwich and then in the middle i just sprinkled like different mediums and different things to like showcase what i can do so my first piece is um, me myself and i i created this the first year of quarantine i don't know dates um so with my pieces i try to supplement the art with like really strong writing or what i think is strong writing um because i i think that's something i'm passionate in and i wanted to show i'm strong in creating art and backing up my art with um like meaning and like process so this is a mixed media piece um you can pause and read the details if you want i don't really want to go for it um this is a mixed media piece i created it on procreate um yeah next is um ooh. 
so I'm, as I was very late with this, my titling is like all messed up. And this is a V2, not one. But um, again, another piece of the same line of work. I wanted to show the consistency, like having two of the same things. Next is an oil paint on wood inspired by Phoebe Bridgers. I feel like this like showcases my technical skill a lot. Next is a life painting because I heard that RISD really likes um, when you include figure paintings and like. For me, I feel like having different mediums and different types of art in your portfolio showcases like your willingness to learn even if you aren't that versed in that side of art um so this is just a life painting i did it in like under three it wasn't really anything special but i included it like last minute because i was i just felt like i would i needed more like meat in my portfolio um i like fig figure painting i like painting bodies but it's like not something i want to focus in but something that i wanted to include and this like showcases like my technical skill with like shadows and madones and stuff next is a more abstract piece i'll paint on what again with this i just want to have fun i wanted to show like my because i alongside being with a figure draw i could work figurative figuratively and create art that isn't like direct from picture to paint next is um a procreate painting i was mainly focusing on digital art like my sophomore year and this was made in my sophomore year I didn't have an Apple pencil at this time, so I had to draw every single little detail and every single circle, and it was a pain in my butt. But it came out pretty good, and it was very fun to like study water and the effects that it has on like behind it. Next is a Photoshop screen print style inspired, but it's it's made digitally. It's not real, but we got it to mock up to look real. This one. Just like showing, again, showing my like interest in studying different types of design and printmaking. Oh, another spelling error, oh my god. Um, one of my first design pieces in my portfolio, like actual design, is um, a poster I did for one of my drama productions. Again, this was included last minute. This was not in my CalArts portfolio. This is very different from my other works. I feel like I'm more lively and color, or like pastel in my other works. But this is more grim and darker um again showing like my diversity um yeah next is another design work just a poster nothing oh nothing special actually it is special i really like this one <laughs> again um showing my skill i did this in photoshop with like a little bit of procreate yeah just some like text manipulation, some typography, some good stuff. The next, this is, I include this last minute, the background looks like cheese. Um, again, I wanted to show like, diversity and like, my interest in different types of design and printmaking. They're like, lit this is a lit lithograph inspired design. Um, yeah, and then I have um, t another two-parter. This is a little Shaw of Horrors poster that I did for my high school production. I'm very proud of this one. This might be like my favorite thing I've ever created for design, like for school or like in general. I feel like the concept is very like different from like regular little Shaw of Horrors posters, which I'm like very proud of thinking of this. Like, like next is another little Shaw of Horrors, but this was like my first iteration. Like I did this one showed it to my director and it did not get like that much of like interest as the other one did. This one's like more darker because if you know the show it's like, pretty nasty. <laughs> um again I wanted to show like like this is very different from the last one but they're the same show. And I think it's very interesting to like pick a side a path in which you wanted to explore with one topic and I feel like that's something RISD would like to see with artists like some like exploring and being creative and my next one is 
um so i explored a lot of like medium testing and played with different mediums so this is oil paint on glass fun fact this painting is sh completely shattered i dropped it and it's destroyed but that's kind of beautiful another like me um this is actually sculpture work one of my first sculpture work um it is a base constructed by hanging acrylic another work that i'm really proud of i would love to see this this is currently not, not in a space right now but i'd currently love to see it up again it's so beautiful and then i i wanted to include like one of showing my process because i feel like they want to see like how you think when you're cre like how you think when you're creating so this is like a prep first trial for my the piece that follows it and it's like a two scale model that i didn't really follow for the final but I think it showcases like how I think through my art and um, how I'm I don't just create and then just create I like think have to think through it and I think they really like that and then the actual piece is very different from what you've seen the, the trial but um, again um, for this one, I did something different and made like a collage because this piece is like really hard to photograph. I should have took a video, but it's not in the space that it was um, installed in anymore. But yeah, very different. It's self-portrait. I don't really have like faces in my portfolio, but that's okay because I applied to be in graphic design. I don't think they really... But I did showcase that I can draw faces and stuff. And then lastly, I have my first commission piece. Um, it's a mural. A public mural. Again, I mislabeled the title. Um, yeah, another collage layout. But with this one, I really wanted to showcase like its scale. I think the scale is very interesting because like a lot of my work is like um, eight inches by eleven inches, which is just like a regular piece of paper, and that's not really like it's really boring. Everything's the same size. But this, I wanted to like show how I can do different sizes of art and how. Like, I can still translate what I want into a bigger piece and into smaller pieces. So I included three, actually, of this. Three um, different images, and this is like the last one. Um, I included the actual, like, um, what I set into the, to get it printed, because it's um, a design I created that was printed into vinyl that was stuck onto a wall. But yeah, I included the illustration, scale, um, of like what it looked like beside a person and then a close-up of like the details and the shadow that it creates because it's it works as like a another projection like my other piece so for some tips and tricks that I have. I would say start early. A lot of this work is from sophomore, well, sophomore year and then I took a lot of time my entire of junior year to create stuff and beginning of senior year I was like stumped. I did not want to do any art, anything new so a lot of this is like um, from before so I would say use your time wisely and also essays. Oh you also have to submit stuff for um common app for cca and RISD. make sure your essays are strong i had a really good ap lit teacher that helped us through our essays and that really helped during the beginning of um, senior year don't wait until the last minute that was my really big problem my portfolio did not come out how i wanted it to because of waiting for the last minute Oh, also like watch portfolio tips. Um, I wanted to create this video because I watched so many portfolio, accepted portfolio videos and like those really inspired me and like guided me with what got accepted and what got rejected. I also watched like RISD's portfolio tips on their, webs on their website and their YouTube channel, which is very helpful. Document, keep everything in one place, like Google Doc, because so for my CalArts, I wrote everything on directly into the CalArts application and I didn't know that you can go back. You did, you can't go back and look through what you applied. So I had to rewrite everything for my RISD and CCA application and it took so long because everything in my CalArts one was so good. And then I had to rewrite everything again with other ones and that took up so much of my time. 
which is why I like barely made the deadline for my applications. So I put everything into one document. all for this app this accepted portfolio again i'll be attending rhode island school design go mads um and if anyone has any questions hit me up on my hit me up follow me on instagram at this is not nadine um also for art and stuff you can go check me out check out some of my newer work